All right, I've I fixed the function. So uh, the first the first number should be a one plus square root of five divided by two, and second and the second one minus square root of five divided by two. And uh, this whole thing is going to be this uh, th uh, this expression. And if I if I define this Fibonacci sequence function of a, and we could cal calculate it um, more um, result and uh, I. And speaking of the how a computer handles this function, this is actually a not a integer sequence. If I want to convert this into a integer, there's gonna there's gonna be some running problem because there's the the, the errors the errors actually spread. Uh, but we could sort of compare this value to the value that we can that that are um that are um, calculated from above. This is all, this is actually a show why showing kind of why Julia is uh, slightly better than Python because it, it throws one warning and they when you want to convert something to integer but but there's a running problem and you can't you can't really say that it's an integer. And and from this part we, we have the um from this, from, from the plots that uh, we can like, we can uh, we can sort of just I'm um, copying and pasting all the time. I think it's pretty bad. And you could uh, have one plot of the Fibonacci sequence that is uh, that is uh, calculated from the iteration from the iteration way, and uh, and you could uh, at the same time. Plot. So, as we mentioned in previous video, we add, use a, a, a this uh, we, we, we add this um, uh, this the, the sign to 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 say that uh, that that we are adding a, another plot to the previous plot. So hopefully that will work. So uh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What's going on with this? So this is a this is a sequence. Oh, sorry. That should be one to n instead of uh, right. That should be one to n instead of one to one hundred. Bounce error. Um, what's the value of it? Right, one thousand. Use collect. Now, what's going on with this? Now we we have a look at the um, length of um, the the length the length of x. And what if I what if I assign to this to a numerical value of x, or maybe name it x num no right so uh, these two has the same these two have the same form and if I put this it's not working. Attempting to find that's that's another problem, and um, I think we shouldn't. Maybe we maybe we can or maybe not. Right. Let's just kind of re right. That's working, and and you actually see that the, you actually see that it's, it's 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 giving us a pretty close value. It's it's not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that these values are all correct, but uh, it's, it's basically says it, 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 what it basically means is that the, the, the two methods has um, very similar accuracy. But if we look at the if we look at the uh, the very end of let's say the uh, from 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 the 
from end minus 10 to end. If you look at the value of this, and if you do, if you if you also have a look at the the other stuff, and there's there's some differences between between those things, and these are uh, the, uh, the, the these are having lots of accuracy problems, um, but uh, another interesting aspect is that we can time the time the method here and it takes this much of time compared to uh, let's say 0 0.0182 second that's it's, it's not it's not very different so this do it still takes a lot of it still takes a a bunch of time but if but um if it if you think of it if i th if you think of it if i only want one value value of Fibonacci sequence the 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 then the equations is gonna then then the equations gonna help because they it, it help it help me avoid those iterations but it, iterations are not uh, essentially bad it's just that sometimes it's, it it, it um, takes more time. Oh, sorry. I guess there's a Fibonacci something or no? No, I was. Uh, no, there's 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 not a predefined function for that, and and from here you could uh, kind of explore. And if explore lots of properties of of this uh, numerical problem. And another interesting thing is that uh, in speaking of this computer language, is that you actually get something that's called a big big float and big float of one, big float of two, and we could type lots of number. So. Or big, actually big integer, and that's will work. This will work, and it will, and and it store all the digits that, that I have given to it. And if, but if I just go integer sixty four, which is a, which is the most um like let's say which is the commonly used ones, and if I run this one. It will throw an error because they're because it, it is inexact. That's that's exact. Uh, that is exactly uh, what it means. Same thing happens for float sixty four and uh, let's say I got uh, some very random stuff. Right and this. But the difference is that the float 64 will clip the number and the integer 64 uh, things, uh, the integers are very important. And the, 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 thing, the thing always also happens if I want to convert a non-integer to, to an integer. And I never said there's an exact error. And the way we could do this is if I search for a round. And uh, we could actually round those things uh, to some value. So that's right, fine. So we could spe sp uh, specify digits or just uh, round to, let's say, round to integer 1.7. Actually, let's say. Let, actually, let's have a look at how this works. So. Uh, if I if I run this, uh, it's gonna be two, and what's the time? What's the time? So when it rounds it, does it change the type? Type of so it's also changing the, the type of integer. So the default value of uh, integer sequences 
uh, the, the default value for in uh, the, the, sorry the default type of uh, integers and the uh, flows number are double pitches efficient, but uh, they uh, there are something like uh, integer one two eight, like if we get integer one two eight, this is there's something called integer one two eight, and so it can kind of store more digits, right? If I add somewhat bigger than this this will still work All right but if i what if i add too probably too much of it and this will not work and and, and, and the same thing happens for float for, for some reason you don't want to use big floats all the time floats one two sorry there's something called float uh, no there's not something called float one two eight so that's pretty. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. And um, so, if I want to calculate something like the ratio, that's uh, that's not very important if the value if the value is integer or not, or if if the if the very last digits of the number are 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 not very important. Say we're not going to loop. We're not going to. Um, we're not going to say that certain axioms are are, are, are we, sorry. We are not going to um, test a certain hypothesis with uh, this unknown integer sequences because it's not because they are not integers. It, that's because they, uh, the computer doesn't store the integer values. But if you want to do this, use big float, a uh, big integer. Right and. Um, you can actually you can actually think lots of lots and lots of more interesting visualizations and and, and number manipulations and about Fibonacci sequence. But we'll pause this a little bit and discuss some other sequence um, in the series and uh, in the future and and in the future I might do uh, some a little bit more about. Uh, how to uh, visualize the sequence in uh, and and post the and, and, and put the codes into another repository. All right, thanks for watching.